Chairperson Govey, Chairman Roy, and members of this committee, as I already explained, my name is Ann Gway, and I'm here today to testify with my son Brian in support of these bills. I'm also testifying on behalf of Advocates for Autism of Massachusetts, and I'm also here as an elected member of the Bedford School Committee. These bills make it possible for students like my son to attend college, thrive, find work, and live independently. While students without disabilities graduate from high school after finishing their student year, students with intellectual disabilities and autism usually remain in the same programs until they turn 22. Their options are limited, and very few ever step on a college campus, except to visit a sibling or maybe attend a cousin's graduation. Brian really wanted to go to college. He watched his sister go to college, and shortly before his 18th birthday, he announced he was going to Middlesex Community College in our town. Easier said than done, Brian did not pass MCAS. Still, I knew there were community colleges participating in the Macy program, but Middlesex wasn't one of them. I decided to try and change that. Brian told anyone who would listen that he wanted to go to college, including Senator Mike Barrett, while walking in the Bedford Day Parade. A few days later, we met together in Starbucks in Lexington, and Brian listed all the reasons why he wanted to go to Middlesex. When it was time to leave, Senator Barrett told Brian he would help him. A few weeks later, I was invited into Senator Barrett's office here in the State House to meet with the then president of Middlesex Community College. We talked about Brian's desire to go to Middlesex, and at the end of the meeting, she agreed to recommend that Middlesex participate in Macy. I really felt like I won the lottery. I immediately called my husband, and then I called Patrick, Patrick Barberi, the executive director of the lab program, a collaborative program here that Brian attended. He made it clear that lab wanted to partner in that effort. I have written testimony from him today, which I'll pass up at the end of my remarks. The Bedford Public Schools agreed as well. The Middlesex program started, and Brian was one of the first students. During our first visit to the bookstore, we bought every sweatshirt, sweatpant, t-shirt, and a bumper sticker for my car. We made a big push in the, in the bookstore. Brian took classes for two years, made friends, went to the gym, learned to ride the MBTA, which was big in our town, and gained a real sense of independence. He even received an A in acting. When it was time to leave metal sets, Brian was ready to obtain employment. He wants to own a farm, as he explained, and Middlesex really helped him persuade employers to give him a chance. He now works 25 to 30 hours a week. He works at Home Goods. He works at the Blueberry Goat Farm in Bedford, and then spends every Saturday working at the horse farm. All three positions are paid employment. He's done so well that he's leaving SSI and is now will be enrolled in SSDI. Brian's experience is a good one. There are many students like him who do not have the same chances and don't have state senators able to help him. Passage of this bill will open doors to students like Brian all over the Commonwealth. For this reason, AFAM has made this bill a legislative priority and the Bedford schools support its passage. Thank you.